joining us. Uh, my name is Ruel Gaviolos, my lovely wife, Michelle. Aloha. Aloha, yes. We are excited to be uh, here for Worldwide Play Day uh, here on Renegade Game Studios' Twitch channel. Um, this is a lot of fun for all of us because we get to not only play a great game, but we get to play a game with you all uh, wherever you are in the world. So please shout us out in chat. And I see uh, Desiree, I believe, and uh, is it Victoria, I believe, in chat? So we have our uh, awesome production team here at Renegade. Really appreciate and thank you for your help. First, I want to shout out and thank all of our friends and family who are first responders and healthcare workers. Thank you so much for your sacrifice and your hard work as we get through these tumultuous times. So this is our way of connecting with everyone else via the wonders of technology. We are physically distant, but we are not socially distant, right? We are connecting socially this way. Um, and what better way than to play a card game, right? Yeah. <laughs> and this is a beautiful, beautiful game. I hope everyone can appreciate the art here uh, by Beth Sobel, uh, one of my favorite board game artists. And the trees are just so calming and beautiful, and yet, this game can be pretty ruthless. It's cutthroat. It is cutthroat. <laughs> so uh, friends of mine call it Mean Trees. <laughs> so we are playing Mean Trees, AKA um, Arboretum today. Uh, we are gonna start the game uh, at noon today, but before we do, I'd like to remind you uh, viewers that uh, when you're in the comments, go ahead and you know put a comment here on Twitch or if you're on Facebook or wherever you are, and you'll be entered to win some great promos from Renegade. Um, we are also giving away copies of Stellar, which is another outstanding card game. Oh, yeah, yeah Stellar. Game. Oh, so good. So good. So they are giving away copies today oh, as well. Uh, the, play. <laughs> <laughs> and the best thing, um, I think, that's the grand prize today. We will announce the grand prize winner tomorrow, but everyone across the streams will uh, have a chance to win a copy of the deluxe version of our burrito. There's a deluxe? There is a deluxe. We have the standard edition, but the oh. deluxe version has these super cool like cards and the box is a uh, wood carved box. Oh, Jose, my Our friend Jose has it. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. As if wow. this game could get more uh, prettier, right? right? Um, we're also going to be giving away promos, as I said, the deluxe version. I also like to remind you that if you hashtag uh, your pictures and stuff that you share from your games, please hashtag it Worldwide Play Day. And that's all one word. And uh, I see a bunch of people on chat right now. Thank you for joining us. Where are you guys at? We're here in sunny Southern California, and it's actually super sunny today and super hot. So yeah. that's, yeah, we've got the air running, thankfully. Again, thank shout out to electricity for keeping us cool. <laughs> <laughs> and if you notice today, Michelle is wearing this beautiful, I want to say it right, haku? Haku. Haku. Uh, can you talk about the haku? Well, it is a Hawaiian garland and um, I hula dance. So this is one of my costumes um, from one of my costumes. And it's, well, this one is made of fake leaves. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wearing it in honor of um, us playing a game that has to do with trees and yes. leaves. All right. And I see Columbus, Ohio in the house. I see DC in the house. Thank you for joining us. Yes. Um, again, we're in Southern Southern California. I'm going to give a quick explanation of Arboretum um, for those of us who aren't too familiar, but be ready at noon. We are going to start the game right at noon. And what's cool about Worldwide Play Days, if you haven't joined us before, um, we have worldwide global effects, right? So these are going to change the rules of the game as we play along. It's really cool. We did it for Raiders of the North Sea uh, a couple of weeks ago. We also did it. What did we play last week? It was, um, oh, geez. Oh, a Clank. Clank, yes. Yeah, Clank was fun. Was fun. And uh, yeah, so the global effects, it could be anything from, well, I don't even, we don't even know. So we're going to see. Uh, yeah, hopefully that's going to be interesting. Yeah, <laughs> maybe make some of the cards wild. Who knows? Philly area, yes. Thank you for joining us, Philly, in the house. Uh, so a quick overview of Arboretum. It's a card game. We Players get seven cards, and the cards uh, in a two-player game, we're going to play with six different species. But in a four-player game, you play with all ten. They are numbered one through eight. Here's a few examples here. What you're doing is building a tableau or uh, your Arboretum. So from your hand, every turn, you're going to draw two cards. You may draw from the deck, or you may draw from one of one of the discard piles from either another an opponent or from yourself and then you have uh, you'll have nine cards in your hand then you will play one to your arboretum or your tableau then you'll discard one to your discard pile so 
the way it scores is so you're as you build up your tableau you want uh trees that are in ascending order that's going to score the points so in this example i have uh, my me i'm going to score my maples i do a one two three four five you always look at the species at the start and end of your path and that's how you count it so i have one two three four five in my path they both start and end with maple so i'm scoring maple so also additionally i have a number one in my path, so it's an additional one point and an eight at the end of my path, so it's an additional two points. So this one in this example would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, normally that's how you would score the points, just like that. But there's this really cool thing about our RM. It's also the most frustrating thing. You have to be able to score that by having the most in your hand of that species. So in this example, I had the number four. Um, and Michelle has the number six in her hand. So because she has more in her hand than mine, I do not have the ability to score the maples. If she has any maples in her tableau, she would score them. And that's how we score each species in the game. It's tough. So it's like this really cool balance between trying to play cards in your tableau to play uh, versus holding cards in your hand. It's a really, it's tension filled game. Even though it's about trees and chilling out. But it's hate draft. It, it could be <laughs> called hate drafting as well, keeping stuff that uh, you don't want your opponent to have. So that's the game. Um, there are certain rules. So when you're trying to decide who has the most a majority in your hand, you just add all the numbers up in your hand for that particular species. So it's not the number of cards. It's, it's the number. The sum total. The sum total. Yes. And also, if you have the number eight in your hand and someone else has a number one, the number one makes that a zero. Okay. So if you are tied with someone else, then you both get to score the uh, species. Okay. And if there's any other questions, we'll uh, deal with them in the, during the gameplay uh, South street, Philly. Yes. I've been to South street as well. Great place. Uh, friends. Hey, there's Chris from um, charity board gaming. Thank you for joining us, Chris. Appreciate it. My friend. I'm going to give the cards a shuffle up. And again, please keep shouting out where you're from and what you're doing. Hopefully you're playing Arboretum with us. If not, play along later. Get a, grab a copy. It is also available on Tabletop, tabletop Simulator. Um, Victor oh. Ortiz. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that. we played with the uh, Renge gang. Uh, I think it was last week, in fact. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm going to deal out seven cards to Michelle and I. Or me and Michelle. Two, three, four, five six and seven i'll leave the discard pile here friends welcome it is time for arboretum my name is ruel gaviello thank you for joining us we appreciate you spending part of your day with us here on renegade game studios uh twitch channel and also facebook and wherever you are thank you again we are starting the game this is my lovely wife michelle aloha aloha and hey speaking of aloha i did a little arts and crafts today <laughs> Here's my tree for Arboretum. <laughs> Hi, folks. This is, I don't know what I did. Oh, what yeah. What species is this tree? This species is uh, Cardboardi Cardboardius gaviolus. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Hopefully, you can do some uh, cool crafting as well on uh, during your day. So, um, I believe the start player condition is the first player or the player who most recently watered a plant. That's, I watered my plants this morning. That's right. So you will go first. <laughs> okay. So Michelle's tableau will be off screen. Mine will be here so you can follow along. Thank you, Chris. Yes, I spent a lot of time on this tree, maybe like um, five minutes. So we have a global effect right now, the first one in the game. Uh, let me put it up on the screen here. All right. So select a suit at random at the start of the game. Cards of that color are considered all colors during scoring. Select a suit at random. All players have the right to score that color at the end of the game. Okay. That's not what I understand. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'll just draw from this deck. Okay. Uh, the blue spruces are wild. Okay, I'm going to shuffle it up. So, cards of that color, any blue spruce is wild. Ah. Okay, so, um, oh wait, no, select it. Cards of that color are considered all color. Yeah, so it's wild, so you can use the blue. Oh, okay. Yeah, and players have the right to score that player, so we don't even have to worry about having blues in our hand. We're going to get to score it automatically. <laughs> All okay. right. This is great. So okay. Michelle will begin. Okay. I'm... So draw two, play one to your arboretum, and discard one. Alex. 
excited. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so okay. cool. Like, I, I love this. Okay, so I'm going to move my tree here. Yeah, I wasn't sure how they were going to do the yeah. random, random, what is it called? The global events. Global events. Yeah, this is great. Okay. Oh, oh there's a just, lot of things yeah. I would like to keep here. So. Michelle has drawn her two cards. Okay, and I'm going to place a maple. One maple, and I got to get rid of something, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm getting rid of, I don't know how to say this, the red one. Royal Ponciana? Ponciana. Ponciana, okay. okay. So this is your discard pile here. I'll put Michelle's uh, off screen. So she's discarded the okay. eight. Uh, so I, now I draw, I'm going to draw one off the deck. And then I'll draw another off the deck. It's very hot here. Yes. I think it's we're at uh, 90, 90 degrees today. Yeah. That's supposed to, it's supposed to get a little bit cooler, like low 90s tomorrow. Right. <laughs> Daryl's on. Hey, Daryl. Hey, Daryl. Thanks for joining us. So today's the big day. Two, four, <laughs> six, eight, nine. Okay. So I'm going to play the blue spruce. I'm going to put it right here. We'll start here. And I'm going to discard... Ah, see, this is what this is what makes this so tough. I'm gonna discard the four oak. Okay, so I'm gonna put my discards like this. And the shells will go off. Okay. Here. Okay. So I am. Oh, I gotta draw two. I will take this. Mm -hmm. Wow, chilly and cloudy. And this. I wish it was chilly and cloudy out here. So I'm gonna um, move this tree. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put it down. It's sort of distracting. <laughs> But yeah, so arts and crafts, folks, be sure to go online on uh, somewhere on the internet <laughs> and find <laughs> arts and crafts. Like, I did how to make a tree. I Googled how to make a tree out of a cardboard tube. <laughs> oh, husband. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to place a number two maple. Okay. And I am going to, what am I going to get rid of? Probably this. Okay, Michelle gets rid of the two Cassia. Um, I am going to pull from the deck. I'll pull another one from the deck. Okay. So, I'm going to play, let's see, I have this one here. I'll play a three cherry blossom and I'm going to discard. See, this is this is where this game is so tough because I don't want to give this card up because I know it's going to help Michelle. <laughs> it is what it is. Um, but you love me. You should I, give it up. <laughs> I do. I do love you. Uh, it's funny. Ben Osteen on Twitter said um, he wishes that we, he wishes us luck today during this game of our room and he's like, and I hope you guys, you both will continue to love each other and do so after this game. Because <laughs> Ben knows exactly how... Start tearing up some cards yes, here. Yes. <laughs> I'm giving up the three maple. Deforestation? <laughs> <laughs> Deforestation, yeah. My, um, Errol Grayer, I'm new here. There's a big text message occurring half the video. Select a suit at random. How can I get rid of it? Sorry, uh, Earl Grayer. Yes, yeah, so that's um, our global effect. That's going to stay, hopefully... It should just show on the lower half of your screen, the lower part of your screen. Maybe I should sit up higher. Yeah. <laughs> but that's a global effect for everybody playing the game right now. Two, four, six, eight. And since everyone has it, hey, tell you what, I'm going to. Um, while Michelle, you can take your turn while I take okay. care of this. So I got my two cards. Oh, I like that one too. Woohoo. Okay. Okay, I am going to play the three Cassia, which is. A yellow card. Mm -hmm. um, sounds like I'm playing soccer. <laughs> <laughs> I got a yellow card. Okay, and I'm getting rid of the pretty pink cherry blossom tree. Ooh, cherry blossom, huh? All right. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to take the cherry blossom. Oh, okay, great. Oh, thank you. Um, I'm going to take the cherry blossom, and I'm also going to take off the top of the deck. Oh, man. See, I thought you were no gonna... problem, huh? Yeah. <laughs> okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to play the four cherry blossom here. Uh, Book of Nerds is in the house. Hey, John. And then I'm going to discard. Was is that a Bob Ross icon? 
<laughs> yes, my perfect. Oh, that was in honor of my painting. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Uh, so I'm gonna discard three, six. I need to. Yeah, I'm gonna give you another one. Am I really? I can't do that. Sure, why not? Hi, Amanda. Hey, Amanda Panda's in the house. Okay, I'm gonna give up the two oak. Okay. Okay, and now it's Michelle's turn. Okay. Those of you just join us, uh, joining us, um, thank you again for spending part of your day here on Renegade uh, Worldwide Play Day. We're playing Arboretum, and we have worldwide global events that are you can see on the screen there. That affects the game that anyone that's playing now, or if you're watching on replay, yes, put these rules in effect. They're a really fun way of changing the, uh, your game for the special event. I don't want to put this. We'll have another one in a few minutes. There are going to be about every, uh, I think, five or ten minutes. Okay, 10. so I placed the four Cassia. Okay, which is the wow. yellow one. Going yellow, all right. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I don't want to get rid of any of these. You're right? So brutal. <sighs> Mana says she loves your crown. It's my Haku. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, you're going to give it a Cassia. Interesting. So remember, just a reminder, folks, to score these um, trees in your Arboretum, you must have the majority in your hand. Okay. Yeah, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Do I take these and try to score outscore you? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking this one from the deck and I'll take another from the deck. Oh, so by the way, we are uh, the game is over when your entire entire deck is gone. So we're about halfway, no, not just above halfway through here. Obviously, with more players, you you have more trees. Um, what trees are we playing with today? Let me read those off. We have the blue spruce, the cassia, the cherry blossom, the maple, the oak, and the royal poinciana. Poinciana. I, I want to say poinsettia. Me too. But I know that's different. Okay. Three, Did you six, take your turn already? Uh, not yet. Three, six, nine. I have, so just an uh, easy way to remember if you've gone, you need uh, to always discard down to seven cards in your hand. What is normal player count? Um, Chris, I've liked this at all player counts. It's two, three, or four. Uh, four for each. It scales up really well because all you do is add in more species. There's a total of 10 species in the game. For two players, we only play with six of them. So four of them are, are out. You just you know discard them out of and the game. Does it tell you which ones to discard? Uh, you just at random, just oh. whatever. Yeah, you just play with, they're all the same. One through eight um, with different uh, names. Okay. Uh, yeah, I like it at four, um, I, but I, I like it all player counts. So my turn, I am going to... Let me play the two cherry blossom. Oh, it's getting blocked off a little bit. So I'm going to move these up this way. This one is here. Just a little easier to see. Then I'm going to discard. Um, wow. All right. Discard the four maple. And really? Turn. Yeah. I gave up another maple earlier. I was surprised you didn't take it, but maybe this one's a little more tempting. I don't know. We didn't have any fun facts about trees, huh? Oh, Michelle takes the cassia and the maple. So this is what's cool, too. You can totally um, take draw from your own discard pile. So it's fun because have a, as the game continues, anyone that plays this knows that sometimes you'll switch up strategies uh, mid game and start taking cards back from your own discard pile to play. Okay, so I'm placing the maple. Okay, five maple. Um, and I am <laughs> going to discard a four maple. Okay, Michelle discards the four maple. I'm never quite sure if I'm doing the right thing. <laughs> Uh, Geek Dad says, Willow is our randomly selected scoring card. Excited to see how this changes our game. Yeah, same oh, here. Oh, there's another one. Oh, um, I've, ours is Blue Spruce in our game. So now we have a new effect. Let me put this on board here. So, global event. On your next turn, you may select cards from anywhere within the discard pile of this game. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So... So this is my turn. Oh, here's a well-known fact from uh, Chris. Best syrup for pancakes is grade A dark amber maple syrup. 
have we had that? I don't know if we've had that. No, because maple syrup is very expensive. It is. So, yeah. so we go cheap. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm glad to see. I tried it at home. Couldn't get. Yeah, the scoring is definitely the trickiest part of this game. Um, but yeah, hopefully through this we'll playthrough. <laughs> No, we'll, we'll make sure you get your. You, we'll make sure you get your discard. Yeah, hopefully through this video, and also there's a how to play as well um, on YouTube that explains the score in a little more in depth. But hopefully we'll be able to answer any questions you have. Two, four, six. You know what? I take that back. We did have maple syrup. I don't know if it was the Great A Dark Amber. Right. When we went to Canada, mm -hmm. our our um, relatives gave us a little souvenir of a uh, maple syrup. Yep. It was delightful. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to play. The let's do the one cherry blossom, and then even though it's wild, I'm going or even though it it's part of our scoring anything, I'm gonna do this blue spruce. Okay, so you may look from either one, either yeah, <gasps> any discards. So <laughs> Michelle is going to look at the discard pile. I could choose either, huh? <laughs> You know, now that you think, I remember when our relatives gave us that. We had the little, like, they gave us a little bottle. And we yeah. just used it. Yeah. So good. Okay. Do I do I even want this? Fun Where fact. Discard yeah. pile digging is my son's favorite way to cheat in most <laughs> cases. <laughs> well, uh, that's cheating? <laughs> <laughs> we thought that was a variant. <laughs> that's funny. Okay. So you've um, drawn two cards. No. That was my... Um, my on your next turn, you may select cards from anywhere within the discard pile. Yep. This game. Oh, so you're drawing two cards, right? Oh no, I thought I was just picking like an extra card. On your next turn, you may select. Oh no, what this means is, you know how you draw two cards, uh -huh. either from here or here. Usually, uh -huh. you can only draw the very top one, but this uh, uh, one that's allows you to draw wherever. Okay, you want. okay, so that must well, that was one. Okay, okay and this is second. two. Okay, okay, and. So on my next on my next turn, I also get to do that. So it's just a one time um, ability, and we have another minute and five minutes, or less than five minutes now. Okay, and I am going to discard the royal thing that's not poinsettia. <laughs> okay, the royal not poinsettia. Poins royal Ponce poinsettia. Poinsettia. Okay, so what do you play right now? You played the maple. Yeah. Nice. Michelle's um, arboretum is full of maples and cassias. Because we want syrup. Yes. <laughs> Uh, we got um, pandas. Amanda Panda says she loves maple syrup for bacon or baking. Mm, yum. Mike says, of course, those can. They have a strategic maple syrup reserve. <laughs> the way this event is written, it seems like you can do that for the rest of the game. Interesting. On your next, I look at it like on your next turn only. You may, oh, wait, you may select cards from anywhere within the discard pile of this game. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. All right. So let me oh, do wait, that. There's oh, there's one. another one. So let me do my first one. Um, you know, I'm not going to do that. So let's look at the next worldwide event, everybody. It is, you may move one card in your Arboretum to a new location at the end of the game, just before scoring. So we'll have to remember that. Uh, we'll just scroll up and remind everyone when we do that. I'm not going to remember six, that. Seven. Portland, Oregon, Lando trees and tree allergies. So I'm going to select from here. <gasps> oh, I do have allergies and they are acting up. <laughs> You know what? I'm going to select this one from your discard pile as my one time or my use there. And then I'm going to play. Ooh. Oh, this is not an e easy decision now. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> this is tougher than I thought it would be. Okay. I'm going to play the six here. And I'm going to dump the two there. Okay, so I'm going to close that up. We had maple trees Six. back at our childhood home in Ohio. Oh, that's cool. Nice. Okay. Okay, my turn? Yes. Okay, so what you got? So are we playing this you may move one? Oh, that's at the end. So the other one was you may... Let me get it on screen here. So are us. we doing this for the entire I, game I then? Think it, let me see. Okay, so that was the one here. I felt like it was just for the one time. We'll just do that. For the one time? Yeah. Oh, okay. So we're done. Yep. 
with that. Yeah. Okay, we're reading for Michelle in this game. And for the all the maple trees. Yeah, all maple, the maple trees. trees. <laughs> okay. I don't know. This is not a maple tree, but I just want to throw <laughs> on screen again. You're almost like a cheerleader. Yeah. Almost. <laughs> a tree cheerleader. Okay, so I will do that. Daryl B. Gaming, he says, on your next turn is the key phrase. If they meant otherwise, they would have worded it for the rest of the game. Thank you, Daryl. Daryl's one of my local gaming buddies. He's a local board game designer as well, and I would agree with his assessment. He's really good at rules. Uh, we also have Stellar. Looks like an um, oh, Stellar is awesome. Yeah. Just you know, absolutely awesome. Um, Chris says we'll call it a Sequoia. Thank you, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> is it my turn? Yes. Okay. Wow. Well, let's do this. I'm gonna go draw here for one. Draw. Ooh, this is really interesting. No, I'll draw another one. Okay. So let's do this. I'm going to go with the eight cherry blossom, which might, is that off screen? No. Okay. Eight cherry blossom there. And then I'm going to drop the five oak. Okay. Question. Yes. So since the blue spruces are wild, if I played that here, that counts as whatever I want it to count as? Yeah, let me uh, verify that here real quick. So the blue spruce is, uh, it's considered, uh, color. cards of that color are considered all colors during scoring. Yes, so that so would be wild. one, two, yeah, it's a wild. Okay. Nice, yeah. Okay, oh, right. oh but I got to pick my cards. Draw first. cards, yeah. Okay, so one, two... Amanda says, Stellar is much more thinky than it looks just like this game. Absolutely. Yeah. That's first thing when we played it the first time. The first thing I thought of was like, yeah, this is of just course. like Arboretum. But yeah. I mean, it's a totally, it's, I feel like it's different enough. I mean, it's totally different, but it's got that similar process where you're, it's like really tense every turn where you're like, oh, do I play this here or do I play it here? That's what it reminds okay. me of. Okay. Michelle has dropped another oak. I feel like I should get into this oak game. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to do that. Taking the five oak from my own hand. I'm going to take the three oak from yours. And then I'm going to drop the... One, two, three, four, five. Huh. If I put the three there, that's no good. Three, five... Okay, I'll put the five oak here, and I'm going to drop the one royal point Siana. Okay. Oh, yeah, Chris. Power Rangers, yes. Great game for the kids. Okay, so I'm going to place... Benjamin, I agree. Arboretum is definitely deceptive in its complexity. Yeah. That's what I love about it. It's super simple to pick up, but it went, uh, as far as mechanisms and gameplay, but Wow, the complexity, yeah, it's right up there. Okay. I'm okay. Good. I'm going to draw both of these. Royal Poinciana, because I want that one oak. I'm going to put the one oak here. So one oak's slightly off screen. And then I'm going to discard that four Poinciana there. Two, four, six, seven. I can go? Uh, yes. Okay. Ooh, Michelle picks up the Poinciana. <laughs> Uh, okay, um, I will place the six Cassia here. Ooh, look at that Cassio row. Very nice. And I'm going to get rid of that. And the Cassia. Should I pick that up? Okay. I am going to... What do I have? One, two, three. Maybe I should get back on the Poinciana game. One here, two here. Then I'm going to play... One, two. <laughs> That's not very good. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized I made sort of a boo boo. <laughs> but I might be able to get away with it. Let's see. 
Let's play the three oak here. And then I'm going to discard the... Wow. Oh, one Ponciana there. Mike says, does not have Stellar yet? Yes, um, it is available now, but of course, mm -hmm. with all the uh, madness going on uh, in the world today, has I don't think they're able to ship out yet, but hopefully that'll change. Um, I avoided it too long because I was worried it was too, too fillery for what I, yeah, I, yeah, I thought, you know, that's funny you mentioned that, um, S. Benjamin 4110. I also thought it was a filler game. I mean, it, it can be played quickly, but to play it well, I mean, you got to think about every decision you make. <laughs> Mike, narrator voice. And Michelle made sure he did not get away with it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're playing the uh, Blue Spruce. Nice. It's mine your own. Yeah, I got one of those Blue Spruces here. Wow, we're almost at the end of the deck. I don't want it to end yet. I'm going to go Royal. Why, are you scared? I am. Royal, <laughs> Royal. I'm going to play... One, two, three, four. Dang, I'm missing a couple of cards. I can't play it yet. Just in case you have it. One, two, four. Hmm. I'll put the two Royal Ponciana there. And I'll discard. Ah. Discard the four royal points, you know. Okay. Friends, how's your how are your games going? I hope they're hope you're having fun. Again, we are doing the global events for everyone here on Renegade Game Studios Twitch channel today. It's a fun worldwide play day. Thank you for spending part of your day with us. We really appreciate it. And we hope you're doing well uh, out there, hanging in there. Is uh, we are in unprecedented times, obviously, but it's a great way to connect with each other through the wonders of the internet. Um, batteries on. Hey, Chris, thanks for joining us. Always appreciate it. Charity Board Gamer, great website, great family of gamers, and you have a great day, sir. Thank you. I can place this here, right? Yep. Okay. Okay. Oh, I need to put one back. One, two, yes. three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Um. And we have a global event. This one is everybody share a photo of your arboretum with the hashtag Worldwide Play Day to score an extra point at the end of the game. <laughs> and we have another event in five minutes. So yeah, share those photos, uh, friends, and you will get an extra point at, during the um, at the end of the game. I need to draw three. I'm going to get this Royal Poinciana and whoops two oh, there's only three cards left in our, our four cards left in the deck yeah, don't pick those Man. So I, I, you know I'm going to take this one the two acorn and the three maple into my hand and then I'm going to play The seven, eight, ten, seven oak. I always call it acorn. I look at the little symbol on the side. Well, that's where they come from. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Gosh, gosh, gosh. Okay, I'm going to drop the Royal Poinciana number one. Okay. I think I'm going to take this one. Mm -hmm. And I can take that one you too. May, yeah. Right. You may take that one. Yeah. Let's do that. <laughs> so I don't know how your games are going. It's funny. Michelle and I are just trying to draw off each other's discard files because there's only four cards left in our deck and we don't want to end it yet. I mean, I could, but then I, I think I'd leave myself in a world of hurt. So. Okay. So I'm playing that one. 
the one cassia mm -hmm. and i'm gonna get rid of that okay so remember the blue spruce in our game is wild but we have the right to score that let me well i'm trying to get the the thing select a suit at random all players have the right to score that color at the end of the game oh okay so no matter what spruces you put out here you're mm -hmm. going to score them okay okay and they also help you with the uh other um Oh, were we supposed to do two different colors? Oh, oh well. Uh, it's my turn. I'm going to take, I think I'm going to take that five Royal Ponciana. And then I will also draw off the top of the deck. Okay. I'm going to play the blue spruce here. It's, I think it's off camera. You can see the top of it. Then I'm going to drop the three maple. And it's back to Michelle with two, four, six, seven, eight. What did I? Two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Did I draw one by mistake? I wasn't even paying attention to you. Yeah. <laughs> Let me see. This one, I think I drew off here. So this one. So I'm going to put, I think it was the four. Okay. I think that was the one I was supposed to off the deck three i have seven now so i'm okay okay Oops. three four five six seven okay i also have seven okay okay so i'm going to draw this cassia okay and the royal Pon ponciana okay okay and i will play <laughs> man there's a little emoji Okay, I will play mm -hmm. the two Cassia. Mm -hmm. And I will return something. <laughs> I will return the blue spruce. Okay. Or the blue Christmas tree. Whatever. Yes, it looks like a Christmas tree to me. I'm going to draw off the deck. I'm going to draw another one off the deck. Okay. So I am I've got that. Let's get into the Poinciana business. I'm going to put that this one <laughs> here, and I'm going to drop two, four, six, two, four, six, eight. Yes. So I need to drop one. I am going to drop two, three, four. I'll drop the three. I think. Yeah. Three Poinciana. So we've got one card left in our draw pile, ladies and gentlemen. And when that is drawn, the player finishes their turn, and it's the end of the game. We no. begin scoring. Michelle no, doesn't want to. Absolutely not. Okay, we have a, another global event. This one says, "The next person to take a card from an opponent's pile must eat an extra helping of vegetables at dinner." <laughs> oh, I will do that. <laughs> Michelle will gladly do that. She just drew that, and you get extra veggies. Woo! We like oh, veggies. Oh, wait, I'm cooking. <laughs> yeah, we like veggies in our house. <laughs> okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. I Amanda placing, doesn't either, yes. I'm placing that. And now. And what? Oh, yeah, nice. Uh-huh. Wow. Michelle's killing it, by the way. Okay, and I'm going to put back this three, Royal okay. Poinciana. Royal Poinciana, Okay. I am going to draw this maple for three, and then I'm going to draw off the deck. So that's the final card of our deck. <gasps> Uh-oh. <laughs> I have to play one and discard one. I'm going to play the eight oak over here. Then I will discard. Ooh, this is actually a tough decision. Three, no, it isn't. One, two, three. I can discard this one. Do I want to, though? Yeah. Okay. Friends, that's the end of our game. Um, we are going to score, and I'll, I'll go over the score in just a second. I don't get last up. You don't get last up. Ah! Sorry. It is the end of the game. Okay. So, again, uh, we are, let me see. Is there anything you may move? Oh. 
At the end of the game, you may move one card in your Arboretum <laughs> to a new location at the end of the game just before scoring. Mm -hmm. So if you want to move anything, move now or forever hold your tree. <laughs> <laughs> I totally came up with that right now. Oh, but I'm pumped. <laughs> Do I even need to? Yeah, I think I'm okay as well. Yeah, I'm going to go with what I have. If I do... So I can do this, right? 5-5? Five, five. Uh, no, it has to be ascending to score. So but you three, have 1-1. One, one. Yeah, but I'm not going to score that. It's just gonna, I'm using this over here. This is going to go oh. this way. Okay, all right. Then okay. I'm good. Okay. So we're going to go over, um, are you playing again? Uh, we'll play later, Mr. Tim, but for now, just for our worldwide play day, we're just playing the once, but thank you for asking. Okay, curious how to score it. How to score. Okay, so uh, here we go. We're, first, you look at the, you have your little score sheet here, and we're going to go down in order of just each species of tree, and we look at how many we have in our hand, and we're, the, oh. whoever has the majority uh, total sum, it will get to have the right to score that tree. So in our game, we start with blue spruce. However, we randomly selected that as a global event. So that is means we both get to score a blue spruce. Okay. So I have one, two, three, four, five in a row, and a one for one extra is six. And Michelle, blue spruce. Uh, three, four, five. Uh, so one, two, three. You count the number of cards. Oh. Yeah. Okay, uh, Cassia. We look in our hands for Cassia. I have no Cassias in hand. Michelle really? has. Really? I have one. She has one, the number seven. Seven trumps zero. So Michelle gets the only, only Michelle gets the right to score the Cassia. So let me score my zero there. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And it starts with one, ends with eight. So that's a bonus of one three. plus the one and two for the eight. So that's three. So you have, is that 10 points? Ten. Nice. So Michelle scored 10 for her Cassia. Now we go to Cherry Blossom. Do you have any Cherry Blossoms? Ain't got none. Ain't got none. Okay, I've got one Cherry Blossom for seven, so I get to score this because I have the majority of Cherry Blossoms. Here on the on my tableau, my Arboretum, I go, I trace a path of, um, trace a path of, hey, you know what? I totally, I'm going to go back and score Michelle's Cassias because she has all Cassias. If your path has the exact same type of species, you double your points. <gasps> oh, sweet. Yes. So, so was... one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's 14. Then you add the bonus. 15, 16, 17. Oh. Very nice, Cassia. Very nice. I think we need to buy this type of tree. And plant it. <laughs> yes. Hey, look. This is a Cassia. This is a cardboard Cassia Whoa. from the Gaviola Garden. It's uncanny how it looks like this. <laughs> right. Uh, so for those of you still playing, we have another global event for you. Be sure to share your photos of the winner. Oh, this is not a global event. My bad. Be sure to share your photos of the winner taking care of plants with the hashtag <laughs> Worldwide Play Day to be entered in this week's giveaway. Yes. So I'm going to go back to scoring mine now. Uh, I'm scoring the Cherry Blossom because I had the, uh, the um, majority. So I go one, two, three, four, five, six. I chose this path because they're all cherry blossoms, so I'm going to double it to 12. <clears throat> I get an additional point for 1 for 13, additional 2 points for 8, um, 15. Not as much as Michelle's Cassia's, but not too shabby. So I could have scored this way, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. However, because these were oaks, I wouldn't have gotten the double up bonus for having all the same species. So that's why I drew this path. Okay. okay a worldwide global event. At the end of the game, the person who wins has to water all the plants this week or hug a tree. <laughs> That's it for our events. <laughs> I love it. I love this one. Yes. Okay. Uh, next one on our list is maples. I have okay. 11. In my <gasps> no! This is called... Ah! This is I called flip the table. Mean yeah. Trees, ladies and gentlemen. Mean Trees. I have 11. Oh, Michelle had seven. seven. So she cannot score her maples. I, oh. If I had any maples, I could have scored, but no, I do not. So we both take a we po both take a zero for maples. This game. Oh. Uh, we're gonna do. <laughs> you okay? No. <laughs> we're doing oak next. Oak. I have eight. Do you have any oak? No. No oaks. 
so I'm going to score this oak here. Um, I have to trace a path with a royal point, Sienna, so I don't get double. So one, two, three, four, five, six, plus one for seven, plus two for nine. And then royal point, Sienna's. Um, I have eight. I have ten. Oh! <laughs> mean trees. <laughs> really? So... <laughs> Uh, yes, thank you. Thank you for joining us. You're very welcome for this scoring up um, explanation. I have eight, Michelle had ten. I, <laughs> ha, that evil laugh. I cannot score my Royal Poinciana's, so that's a bummer. So you don't have any in your thing? No. You do have one. Oh, oh just kidding. Michelle I has one. one. I have zero. Uh, then the blue spruce in my hand, That's so we can both score that. Anyways, now we total the scores. I have uh, six plus 15 is 21, plus nine is 30. Michelle has 20, 21. So in this <laughs> game, <laughs> can I get a high five? No. Oh, she left me hanging. <laughs> that's <laughs> folks, that's mean trees, aka Arborita. <laughs> Today I have one 30 to 21. Again, this has been a lot of fun with those global <laughs> events. I get to go outside now and I'm going to either hug a tree <laughs> or I'm gonna hug a tree. I'm gonna take we're gonna take a photo of me hugging a tree. Unless I can hug. I can hug this that tree. That doesn't count. Oh, it doesn't, it count. doesn't count. It says go outside and hug a tree. So I'm going to go outside <laughs> and hug this. Actually, I'm going to, I will uh, take, there will be photographic evidence, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you've had fun. If you're still playing, yes, keep doing it and look at the global events. I want to remind everyone, please, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, tag your photos on the socials with uh, hashtag worldwide play day to be entered into some of these great giveaways here. Tomorrow, we will be announcing the grand prize, which is a deluxe version of Arborina, which is absolutely gorgeous. Got this awesome woodcut uh, cover uh, box. And hey, congrats to Heavy Arm ZX0. You have won a copy of Stellar. Ooh. Hey, well done. Congrats, my friend. Enjoy that. We love Stellar too. As I, we've also played Stellar on our Facebook Live channel. Um, and I'll, I think we might have played for Renegade. I'm not sure. But we play games every day on Facebook Live, so please join us at 5 p.m. Pacific. Every weekday we play. Um, Renegade says, everyone who entered today in chat will be entered for the grand prize. That will be announced Ooh. tomorrow. So thank you, thank you, thank you. There's promos being given out. I want to thank everyone for joining us. We truly appreciate you spending part of your day here while we go through these unprecedented times. Please stay safe out there. Wash those hands. Practice physical distancing. Uh, Michelle, is there anything you would like to add before you punch me off screen? <laughs> <laughs> no, I just, I really like this game and yeah. it's pretty, but it, it is, you know, deceiving. <laughs> oh, yes. And by the way, if you are on the social media thing, my Instagram, I posted a watercolor that Michelle did inspired by the art by Festival. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, again, I'm biased, but yeah, please check that out. Uh, Mr. Chin, we will be going, I believe there's another event next week here on Worldwide Play Day. We are going to be playing. I'm going to join Victor and the crew tomorrow uh, for Random Roll. We are going to play Raiders of the North Sea online. So please join us there on the same uh, media social media channels. On behalf of Michelle, on behalf of our wonderful production crew here at Renegade, I want to say thank you again. And please stay safe. And we will play games again with y'all soon. We, this has been so much fun. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And until next time, play your games, Renegades. Bye. Aloha.